Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I know it's been a few days. Um, I'm recovering-ish, but I wanted to get on here and do some of my 200 envelope challenge. Um, we do have some cash here. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have $20 here. Now, I have made a decision. Once this is complete, it is going to go specifically for one and one thing only. And I'm not going to disclose what that thing is until this is complete because this may take us some time and that's okay. I did want to let you guys know that I do have a couple of challenges in my shop. This little keychain here, that is Eleanor. I don't know if you can see her, but this keychain here is Eleanor. She is my newest little creation um, with savings challenges. She has a Eleanor, Eleanor's first yard sale. She also has a um, Eleanor's 100 envelope challenge. Um, the numbers are 1 through 20. Those are digitals in my shop. I also have a few things that are physical items that are coming with her in it. They are super freaking cute. Um, I also have some things for May that are coming um, that are cute as well. Um, lots and lots of cute things coming to the shop. I want to disclose something. Anybody who has purchased from my shop in April, I appreciate you. I honestly didn't think that we were going to make it through the month and I thought that this was going to be really hard and I wasn't going to be able to do this. I wasn't going to be able to continue on with this channel. Um, finances are still kind of up in the air because I don't know what my paycheck for my job is going to look like. Um, so we're just going to wing it until the 5th. Um, we know what our budget needs to be. So we kind of know what we need to make. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am leaving all of these blank if you do not know. There's 200 envelopes in here. I got them from Fred Meyer or Kroger, whatever you want to call it. Fred Meyer for us in Oregon. But they came in 100. And I'm keeping these boxes in case I want to reuse these by sending happy mail or something like that. So let's start with this one envelope. And I'm not licking them, I'm not closing them, I'm just using them to put the money in. Let's start with Jamie's because Jamie's, from Jamie's Realistic Life, you can pick whatever denomination you want to choose. So if I want to do six and six, I could do that. If I want to do all three sevens, I could do that. If I just wanted to do one because that's all I had, I'm going to do one or two or three or four, however you want to do this. So let's go ahead and put in six for this one. And you guys, I am excited to, to figure out how much this is going to all be. I'm hoping it's enough for whatever I want it to go to. And I'm going to color in the little heart as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and put $6 into this one. I'm trying not to do like super duper low amounts on this one. Um, because Mandy's from Mandy's Budgeting Journey. Hers is all numbers between 1 and 6. So I'm trying my best to beef this one up and then give myself a mini break with this one. So let's go ahead and pick a higher number. Um, how much do we have? 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's do three fives. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's grab an envelope that hasn't been stuffed. By the way, this is my marker to show which ones have been stuffed. Ooh, we got a double. Put one back. So how are you guys feeling about spring? I am gonna be planting a bunch of stuff in my garden. I just need to clean up that yard a little bit and we can do that. I'm excited. I think I'm going to put it in the end of one of my videos. Not this one because it's not done yet, um, but I want to get it done so that way I can share that with you guys. All right, let's do another five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And I'm hoping that I get out of the kitchen and start working some customer service stuff at my job. So that way I can start getting some tips. So let's find another five. So there isn't another five. Here's a five. Right under my nose. Does anybody here have a garden that they're working on? I will say there's more trash in my yard than I expected. It's like buried deep. One, two, three, four, and five. I think it's because we, our mobile home park used to be really shady and a lot of people have moved out or, you know, got evicted one or the other and they left a bunch of trash. We also are near a highway, so that doesn't help either. Um, let's find another five, but that is one of my goals this week is to get my garden started. All right, so that's all we had to work with you guys. So we have quite a few of these done already. So this is the pile that's done. As you can see, all of these are stuffed. And we're just gonna keep going with it. I might bring the recycling in, our bottles and cans. We get 10 cents a piece for them here in Oregon and it helps me out because we have friends and family who give us um, bottles and cans. So I will put that towards this challenge as well. But I feel like it's going along pretty well. Um, but as always, do what you can with what you got. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.